environmental side. Staying focused every point. I feel like I'm getting better almost every week. Still only 24, Jack Sock is maturing fast, and he believes mastering the mind games will be key to battling it out with the very best. The consistency this year was a lot better for me, you know, playing in a deeper into draws, um, you know, week in and week out. You know, I've taken, you know, a lot of the top guys, you know, I've played them some close matches and had chances this year. I definitely think he can, he can be one of the guys at the top of the game, um, you know, I, that can be talked about, uh, you know, week in, week out. He's definitely focused on the game right now, and I think his results um, are showing that. He's an incredible talent, um, only going to get better. Slowly but surely, 2016 saw Sock start to realize his huge potential. I started out well, I think I was putting myself in positions, uh, maybe not quite you know, breaking through in those matches. You know, Rio kind of had a resurgence for me. Um, you know, I was able to regroup and, and have a lot of fun with Stevie and Bethany out on the doubles court. And to come away with two medals, you know, my first Olympics was uh, the most surreal moment I've had, I think, on the tennis court in my career. Um, and you know, obviously something I can cherish forever. Next for the young American came a strong performance at the US Open, followed by yet another impressive showing in doubles, this time with a close friend on the courts of Shanghai. Jack, uh, an incredible friend of mine, it seems like he's been playing for five, six years, but he really hasn't, so he's still very young and has a lot of, a lot of great years ahead of him. You know, John, he's one of my better friends on tour. Uh, obviously, we had a great week in Shanghai. Um, as we call it, fellowship, you know, it's definitely good to have those guys here. Now, more than ever, Sok realizes the importance of friends and family. His brother Eric overcame a life-threatening illness in 2015. And that experience has played a key part in Sok's approach ever since. Yeah, I had some good results last year. The, mo the motivation, you know, to play for my brother and my family, you know, is big. And at the end of the day, you know, life is you know, bigger, than, bigger than tennis. If I get to go home and be with my family and friends, and, um, you know, that kind of keeps it, you know, light and things in perspective. Wise beyond his years, it's Sock's positive mental attitude that puts him in good stead for the future. And a lot of the, the younger guys put some pressure on themselves to, to get up to the rankings really quick. And, you know, he's just enjoying the process of getting better and competing. And, um, you know, I think that uh, staying positive is a big one. You know, the belief is, is definitely a big thing, you know, now that I, I know I can, you know, put myself there and then you know, the tournaments outside of that, you know, I'm showing up, you know, trying to win, trying to win the events and, um, you know, next year I definitely want to push the top 15 and hopefully top 10, you know, I believe I can be there. Um, I think my tennis is there and just piecing everything together and, and uh, you know, making that breakthrough and so that'll be big for me in 2017. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, Magic in Melbourne. The best of the action and the backstories from the first Grand Slam of the year. And a man on a mission, we talk to world number one Andy Murray about his season ahead. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.